and recover from that flooding. Now, police say an Albuquerque man rattled an entire neighborhood when he led officers on a foot chase. He wound up inside the home of a 68-year-old grandma who lives on Chemo Drive between San Mateo and San Pedro. Tonight, she tells KOAT Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton it's more excitement than she's ever seen on her block. Francine Marcia enjoys the peace her backyard brings. I come out in my backyard and just sit here and watch the birds or the hummingbirds and watch the dog play. But that peacefulness was disturbed when a man police were chasing by foot jumped over Francine's back wall here in her backyard, giving her quite a startle. He started running towards my south gate. I believe the police were already there. So I guess he noticed my door was ajar a little bit right there. And he took the opportunity to run into the house. A little bit unbelievable, you know, uh, something out of the ordinary. Francine was sweeping her porch and saw everything. In moments, police broke down her gate and surrounded her house. She ran to safety, and after about an hour of negotiating, Xavier and Trotter surrendered and was arrested. Police say they started chasing Trotter after seeing him behind the wheel of a stolen car. The standoff left Francine on edge, but she got over it fast, and just a day later, she was back in the backyard. The yard keeps on going, so I do too. <laughs> in Albuquerque, Matt Howerton, KOAT Action 7 News. Well, Trotter was booked on a number of charges, including burglary. It's now been three days since 